After studying this module, you shall be able to understand significance of photosynthesis, stages of photosynthetic process which include light and dark reactions, role of photosystem in light dependent reactions, function of photosystem 1 in production of NADPH, splitting of water assisted by photosystem 2. Photosynthesis is the cornerstone of life on earth which harnesses energy from the sun for the nourishment of almost the entire living world directly or indirectly. It is a process utilized by not only green plants but also other photosynthetic organisms for converting the solar energy into chemical energy that can be later released to fuel the organism's activity. The energy from sunlight drives the reaction of carbon dioxide and water molecules to produce oxygen and glyceraldehyde 3 phosphate that can be subsequently converted into glucose, sucrose or other sugar molecules. Organisms break down these molecules into pyruvate by cellular respiration to release energy in a form of adenosine triphosphate for carrying out cellular work. Overall equation for photosynthesis is 6 CO2 molecules plus 6 H2O molecules gives 1 molecule of glucose that is C6H12O6 plus 6 O2. The plant photosynthetic reactions occur in two stages namely light reactions which involve electron proton transfer processes and dark reaction often termed as Calvin cycle which involves the use of carbon dioxide for the biosynthesis of carbohydrates. During the light reactions the solar energy is converted into ATP and NADPH that are subsequently utilized for driving the light independent reactions used for the production of carbohydrates. All these vital reactions occur in organelles called chloroplasts containing stacks of thylakoid which appear as flattened disc. Thylakoid membranes also contain some integral multiprotein complexes known as photosystem 1 and 2 which play an important role in light dependent processes of photosynthesis. Photosystems The light absorption processes associated with photosynthesis occur in large protein complexes present in thylakoid membranes known as photosystems. Photosystems consist of large number of capturing pigments bound to proteins surrounded by a reaction center complex. There are two kind of photosystems photosystem 1 and photosystem 2 each capable of capturing light energy. These photosystems were named in order of their discovery. However, photosystem 2 functions first in the sequence of steps that makes up the light reactions. How do photosystems capture light energy? Photosystems contain an antenna complex consisting of chlorophyll A and other accessory pigments of different color which are utilized to absorb specific wavelength of light. In these photosystems, pigment transfer the absorbed energy to the reaction center that is present in the middle of photosystem. Within the reaction center, there is a special pair of chlorophyll molecules that are coupled with the proteins. It is very interesting to note that the moment the light energy strikes the reaction center, electrons are excited to higher energy level from the chlorophyll molecules. Imagine light energy jumping on a trampoline along a photosystem and then boom landing straight in the center sending electrons up in the air handed to a primary electron acceptor. The description of each photosystem shall be provided in the following section. Photosystem 1 Photosystem 1 is the light driven plastocyanin feridoxin oxidoreductase present in the thylakoid membranes of cyanobacteria and chloroplasts. It is an extremely efficient biosolar energy converter capturing the light energy from the sun and converting it into electrical energy 
through a light driven charge separation across the membrane. The reaction center of this photosystem contains chlorophyll A molecule that absorb light of 700 nanometer wavelength. Now moving towards the structure of photosystem 1, structure of photosystem 1, 10 of 12 plant PS1 reaction center core complex subunits that is PSAA, PSAAB, PSAC, PSAD, PSAE, PSAF, PSAI, PSAJ, PSAK and PSAL are closely related to those of PS1 of cyanobacteria. Other subunits like PSAG and PSAH have unique structural functions related to interactions of the reaction center core with four light harvesting complexes of LHC1 and provide a potential site of interaction with LHC2. Now moving towards working of photosystem 1, the first is excitation of electron in photosystem 1. Photo excised electron enter photosystem 1 via an electron transport chain set in the thylakoid membrane where it waits until the electron is excited by another photon. The second one is chemiosmosis. The energy fall is harnessed to transport hydrogen through the membrane into the thylakoid lumen to generate ATP. Third is conversion of NADP plus to NADPH. The excited electron in photosystem 1 oxidize NADP plus to NADPH which will be needed in the Calvin cycle. Photosystem 2. Photosystem 2, the first link in the photosynthesis chain is a multi subunit protein complex also called as water plastoquinone oxidoreductase embedded in the lipid environment of the thylakoid membranes of plants algae and cyanobacteria. At the heart of this photosystem is the reaction center core containing chlorophyll A molecules that absorbs light at lambda max value of 680 nanometer. Driven by light, this enzyme catalyzes the chemically and thermodynamically demanding reaction of water splitting. While doing so, it harnesses solar irradiation to oxidize two molecules of water to molecular oxygen liberating electrons which provide the reducing equivalents required for conversion of carbon dioxide into the organic molecules of life. Structure Photosystem 2 is a, also a complex assembly of more than 20 different protein molecules bound to 50 or more chlorophyll A molecules, 2 molecules of reaction center chlorophyll P680, 2 accessory molecules close to them, 2 molecules of pheophytin, chlorophyll without the magnesium 2 plus. The remaining molecules of chlorophyll A serves as antenna pigments. Some half dozen carotenoid molecule also serve as antenna pigments, two molecule of plastoquinone. Working of photosystem 2, light absorption, absorption of light energy by photosystem 2 that is P680, electron capture, excitation of electron from a lower energy state to a higher energy state, the electron travels down the electron uh, transport system ETS. Along the way, more H plus is pumped into the thylakoid compartment. Splitting of water and releasing oxygen. Meanwhile, the photosystem's lost electron is replenished by photolysis or the splitting of H2O to form H plus and O2. The O2 resulting is the source of all oxygen in our atmosphere. How do photosystem 1 and 2 work together? The photosystems work together through resonance effect as shown in fig. When the light is absorbed by photosystem 2, the electrons present in the reaction center get excited which are eventually trapped by primary electron acceptors. The hole thus created in the reaction center by the departure of photo excised electron is replenished by the electrons extracted from the water through a cluster of 4 manganese atom in photosystem 2. In this process, oxygen is released when 4 electrons have been removed from 2 molecules of water. 
Further, the light energized electron travel to the photosystem 1 through the cytochrome B6F complex, an enzyme found in thylakoid membrane that catalyzes the transfer of electron from plastoquinol to plastocyanin via an electron transport chain. During this process, often termed as chemoosmosis, transfer of H plus ions takes place across the thylakoid membrane via plastoquinol which creates a gradient within the chloroplast that is used for the production of ATP molecules. When electron enters photosystem 1, it waits until the electron is excited by another photon. The electron thus excited is captured by another electron acceptor which flow down a chain of electron carriers to NADP plus to reduce it to NADPH that enters the Kelvin cycle. 2H2O plus 2 NADP plus plus 8 photons gives O2 plus 2 NADPH plus 2 H plus. Difference between photosystem 1 and photosystem 2. Photosystem 1, PS1 is located at the outer surface of grana thylakoid membrane. The photocenter is P700. Pigments absorb longer wavelength of light participates in cyclic as well as non-cyclic photophosphorylation. It is not associated with photolysis of water. Photosystem 2, PS2 is located at the inner surface of grana thylakoid membrane. The photocenter is P680. Pigments absorb shorter wavelength of light, participates only in non-cyclic photophosphorylation. It is associated with photolysis of water. Summary, photosynthesis is a physicochemical process that utilizes solar energy to convert carbon dioxide and water to glucose. The plant photosynthetic reactions occur in two stages, namely light reactions involving electron-proton transfer processes and dark reactions involving the use of carbon dioxide for the biosynthesis of carbohydrates. During the light reactions, the solar energy is converted into ATP and NADPH with the help of multipigment protein complexes known as photosystem 1 and photosystem 2. Photosystem 2 performs light induced electron transfer reactions in photosynthesis that is responsible for splitting of water into hydrogen ions and oxygen. Photosystem 1 utilizes light energy to generate high energy electrons which eventually reduce NADP plus to produce NADPH that subsequently enters the Kelvin cycle.